Hi, I'm Laura Bloomberg, President of Cleveland State University, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this latest edition of CSU Matters. Every month, we try to shine a bright light on a particular exciting thing happening on campus. And today, we are in the physics department, and I'm here with Professor Gerald Walker, who has a very long tenure with us. And still, after years and years, which we will talk about for a moment, the work he does is fresh and exciting and engaging, and students love him. Tell me a bit about the Flying Circus of Physics. Well, when I was in graduate school, I got tired of math after math after math on the chalkboards. So I started going to the library and looking up stuff that was different, or it was an everyday phenomena. One of my favorite questions is, why is the sky blue during the day? So I started collecting word, or, or things like that. I handed them out to my class just to list these questions. Other people started asking for them, and I finally collected them together as a technical report and sent them off to several people, including one of my heroes at MIT, uh, who was doing Phil Morrison, who was doing the book reviews for Scientific American. He says, Jill, you should publish this. I'm only a graduate student. But I, I sent copies in to some book publishers and immediately got two book offers, book contract offers, and picked one of them with John Wiley and Sons. And they published it, and then it went ballistic. It went viral. Yeah. You know, it's just something really moving to me about you understanding that students can feel intimidated and embarrassed. I remember the feeling. When I was at MIT, I felt stupid all the time. I have never lost that feeling. I know what it's like. So I'm not an arrogant professor who wants to put students down. I want them to be exposed to the same stuff I was exposed to and, and get them over that embarrassment. Our students are so fortunate to have professors like you. Take a guess. When you think about the textbook that's been translated into 18 languages, Flying Circus of Physics translated into 13 languages, yeah. what's your guess, your mathematical guess? How many humans have you impacted in the world with your work? Well, we once tried to do an estimate, uh, estimation of that and maybe 20 million. But I'll throw in a Scientific American magazine because I wrote for that magazine every month for 13 years. I'm not sure you have any idea how starstruck I am by, by sitting here talking with you. I'm serious about that. And we haven't even talked about Johnny Carson yet. You were on Johnny Carson besides, right? Yeah, The Tonight talking Show with that. Johnny Carson. I did the better nail. I, well, I was sat on the, the chair and he interviewed me for 10 minutes. They actually bumped a comedian to keep me on longer. So I was interviewed for about 10 minutes and then we went over to the center stage. I did the better nails. He stood on top of me. Johnny Carson stood on top of me. Wow. And so that was a lot of, he was a really nice guy. That's fantastic. What a remarkable career. I got to shake your hand. Thank you. Will you show me some of those experiments? Yes. All right. Be glad to. I've got two eggs. Okay. One is hard boiled, one is fresh. Without cracking them open, can you tell which is which? Uh, I cannot. Should I be able to? Yes, you should. Using uh -oh. physics, of course. Okay, that one's spinning. Spinning nicely. Okay, that one's not. That's wobbly. Because it they're is. sloshing around on the inside. This one spins very nicely because it's all together. I would have thought that the one that was wobbly was the one that was hard boiled, but I would have been wrong, right? Right. Okay. Now, if I spin it, if I can touch it just right, it stops. Okay. If I do this one, and I touch it, it starts up again. They're sloshing around on the inside. Here, it's all rigidly connected to the shell. So, okay. let's see if I'm telling the truth. Ah! Look at that, look at that. Okay, so you know what you've done for me? You've saved me the next time my grandkids want to try to pull one over on grandma and say, guess what, grandma? We are boiled eggs. These are all hard boiled eggs. My business card that the department gave me. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but here, business card. Hole in the middle. Yep. Okay, okay. I've got a quarter. Yeah. The challenge is to get the quarter to go through the opening without tearing or cutting. The opening is smaller. Than the quarter, than of course quarter. it is. You can test it. So it's still kind of small. Yeah. Tell me. What to do here, Professor Walker? Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to fold this over once. Okay. 
And then twice. At right angles to each other. So you're holding <laughs> one to swim, one to swim. Yeah, okay. best I can. <laughs> and then I'm going to flex it. It was like origami. Yes. Oh, look at that. Okay, I see. can I do it? Yes. I told you it would work. <laughs> <laughs> and you're president, so you're right. <laughs> Always, thank you. So see, I opened up that mouth. But yeah. it doesn't work if you just do it this way or if you just do it this way. That's right. No. But if we do it, you do it. I flex it open like that, like an opening a mouth. And then go through. <laughs>